warm welcome to one and all dear friends myself dr rashmi joshi savalkar assistant professor department of zoology shri rlt college of science akola friends today this is our <coughs> today this is our 24th lecture on uh, of semester 1 and unit 4 in this unit Uh, we have studied the phylum annelida in which cattle leech we have studied and now we are studying phylum orthopoda so this is our 24th lecture in which we will study male reproductive system of cockroach so let's see male reproductive system of cockroach consists of the following parts number 1 testes number 2 vas deferentia number 3 ejaculatory duct number 4 mushroom gland number 5 conglobates or phallic gland number 6 genital pouch and 7 is gonapophysis so all these seven organs togetherly forms the male reproductive system in cockroaches and here are the diagrams given so this is the pencil sketch in which all the reproductive organs are uh, labeled so these are the two lobules of testes in the fourth fifth and sixth abdominal segments uh, this is the phallic gland this is the uh, seminal vesicle or duct of phallic gland and vas deferens these are vas deferens vas afferens and this is the gonapophysis so see here it is the colorful diagram given so this is a pair of testes is present phallic gland is present then uh, seminal vesicle is present vas deferens this is this narrow tubular structure which is called as vas deferens then this is yellow colored ejaculatory duct then right phallomere right phallomere left phallomere and ventral phallomere three three phallomeres are present here these are anal cerci and these are caudal styles so all these organs of male reproductive system so let's study one by one the first one is testes there is a pair of testes lying embedded and the fat body on either side dorsal lateral sides extending from fourth to sixth abdominal segment see here the segments are labeled here 4 5 and 6 so in the 4 5 and 6th segment the pair of testes are present each testis is trilobite trilobite see here first circle second circular part and third circular so it is trilobite three lobes are uh, combinedly forms the uh, structure of testis so it is trilobite and consist of many small whitish follicles uh, and many small whitish follicles are present over there in adult cockroach the testis are reduced and non functional in adult cockroach the testes are reduced and non functional so as the uh, development of uh, cockroach male cockroach it develops into adult condition the uh, time period of reproduction in these cockroaches or male cockroaches is very less so uh, they degenerate or reduces or becomes non functional in the adult condition so the second part now the second organ of reproductive system is the vas deferentia from the posterior side of each testis arises a narrow long tube like vas deferens that runs downwards pair of testis runs downward in a small narrow tubular structure in a pair form which is called as vas deferens both the vas deferentia open to an ejaculatory duct both the vas deferens opens into the ejaculatory duct see here the opening of both the uh, vas deferentia and here this is the ejaculatory duct so ejaculatory duct mein wo aakar open hote hain now the third organ of reproduction is ejaculatory duct the ejaculatory duct is long wide muscular tubes that runs posterior and finally opens in the genital pouch by a male genital aperture ventral to anus so let's 
uh, we highlight this structure here uh, i want to show you that this is the ejaculatory duct that i am highlighting here so this is the complete ejaculatory duct in which both the in which both the see here the yellow colored highlighted structure this is the ejaculatory duct and in this ejaculatory duct both the vas deferens opens and uh, pours their secretions or sperms mature sperms into this ejaculatory duct so it is a no, narrow tubular structure which is called as ejaculatory duct which opens outside through the male genital aperture this is the male genital aperture now the next organ is mushroom gland see here the central structure the flower like structure it is the mushroom gland or phallic gland at the junction of vas deferentia that means this the junction of vas deferentia and the ejaculatory duct found a complex mushroom gland this is the flower like structure which is a mushroom gland made up of three types of blind finger shaped tubules made up of three types of bl blind finger shaped tubules see here the finger shaped tubules are there and it shows a flower like presentation over here this is the mushroom gland the central small tubules the peripheral large tubules and posterior short but bulbous tubules now see here the central these are the small tubules in the central portion in the mushroom gland the tubules are small in size the peripheral that the outermost periphery the structures of phallic gland or tubule shows long finger like projections and at the posterior end at the posterior end they are somewhat smaller in size uh, the bulbous tubules are referred as seminal vesicle the bulbous tubules are referred as seminal vesicles see here this is the seminal vesicle the bulbous tubule again i want to highlight that structure and <clears throat> see here this is the small highlighted bulbous tubules which are also called as seminal vesicle so <clears throat> see the red colored structure this is the seminal vesicles in which the tubules are very short in size and the function the bulbous tubules are referred as seminal vesicles that stores the sperms uh, these seminal vesicle or these small bulbous tubules stores the mature sperms which comes from this uh testes and through the vas deferentia and these are stored over here in the uh, mushroom gland or in the seminal vesicle now next organ is or the fifth organ is conglobate glands so this is the phallic gland on the above side on the above um, portion of the anterior side of the uh, mushroom gland the phallic gland is present which is also called as conglobate gland along the ventral side of the ejaculatory duct runs a large multi lobed gland called as conglobate glands the gland also opens into the genital pouch by the separate opening see here this is the conglobate gland and this opens uh, in uh, this opens outside with the separate opening so um, Uh, and the next so this is the uh, structure of conglobate gland the function we will study uh, in the next slide now the other part of male reproductive system is genital pouch so the sixth part is genital pouch now uh, the ninth sternum in the male forms see here the ninth sternum in the ninth sternum the male forms a small space the genital pouch the male forms the small space which is called as the genital pouch so uh, below the 10th and 9th tergum below the 10th and 9th tergum so it has the opening of male genital aperture and the anus so this is the genital pouch and which shows the male gonopore male opening uh, aperture and the anus anus and male genital aperture both opens into the through this genital pouch now the seventh organ of male reproductive system is gonapophysis in the genital pouch the genital aperture is associated by chitinous irregular hooked external genital structures called as gonapophysis or the phallomeres see here 
the external chitinous this dark color structures i want to again highlight these structures with a separate color so that you clearly see that structure see i am highlighting these structures these are the phylomeres or these are the gonapophyses blue colored structures here so three phylomeres are present over here which are also called as gonapophyses in the genital pouch the genital aperture is associated by chitinous irregular hooked external genital structures called as gonapophyses or the phylomeres see hooks are present over here and these are the external genital organs or phylomeres or gonapophyses so there is a ventral phylomere a right phylomere and a left phylomere the phylomere helped in the process of copulation at the time of copulation to hold the female these uh, phylomeres or gonapophyses helps to hold the female at the time of copulation this is the function of these three phylomeres one is ventral phylomere one is right phylomere and one is left phylomere so uh, again i want to highlight the left phylomere here see here this is the left phylomere this long structure it is the left phylomere okay again hook is present here this is ventral phylomere this is right phylomere so these three phylomeres are present which are the external genital organs which helps in copulation now the eighth organ for male reproductive system is a spermatophore in cockroach the sperms in cockroach the sperms in each tubule of seminal vesicles glued together and forms a 1.3 mm pear shaped mass called as spermatophore uh the mature sperms are sticked together are glued together and forms a 1.3 mm pear shaped mass called as spermatophore this this spermatophore has these three separate layers and inner one is formed by the uh, peripheral and uh, peripheral tubule of mushroom gland the middle is uh, secreted by the ejaculatory duct and the outermost is secreted by the phallic glands so the spermatophore is the organ which is formed by the three layer structure and each layer is uh, secreted by the different different organs so this uh, spermatophore uh, forms the three sperms in which the three sperms are glued together so that um, three layers are formed and they are protected in this um, seminal vesicle or formed into the seminal vesicle so this is the spermatophore now see the lateral view of male reproductive organs when we dissect the cockroach and if uh, the lateral view we observe to so see the uh, external genital organs here see this is the tergum this is the sternum that means it is the dorsal side this is the ventral side of ma uh, the cockroach then male genital aperture male genital pore is here this is the opening of male genital pore this is the genital pouch and this is the rectum that is the digestive canal is here this is the mushroom gland uh, below the mushroom gland the ejaculatory duct is present from the mushroom gland see a tubular structure vas deferens is seen and here the pair of testes it is the testes uh, is present so this is the lateral view of male reproductive system of cockroach and below the diagram given is of phylomeres so these uh, spermatophores or phalo spermatophore no, gonapophyses or phylomeres so three types of phylomeres are there one is ventral phylomere one is ventral phylomere this is the ventral phylomere uh, b is the left phylomere and c is the right phylomere and in all in all three types of phylomeres hook like structures are present which helps in the copulation to hold the female so these phylomeres are uh, present on the external or ninth or tenth segment of the cockroach so let's see what are these phylomeres and how the structure is formed some chitinous uh, asymmetrical structures are found surrounding the male gonopore at the end of the abdomen so these are the external chitinous genital organs which are present on the last abdominal segment of male cockroach 
these are three phylomeres or male gonapophyses these are also called as gonapophyses so which constitute the external genitalia so first one is right phylomere c the right phylomere means this diagram c c diagram means right phylomere so it is mid dorsal in position it has two chitinous but membranous horizontal opposing plates and a broad serrate lobe with a saw toothed edge and two large teeth and it and uh, at its posterior side it has a sickle shaped hook see here it is a sickle shaped hook this is the saw like serrate lobe this is the serrate lobe which shows a saw like structure here so this structure is of uh, right phylomere now let's see the structure of left phylomere see v is the left phylomere it has a broad base from which several structures arise on the extreme left it is a long slender arm it has a long slender arm with a curved hook called titillator see here it is the titillator it is a long arm like structure where the hook like um, structure is external structure is present which is called as titillator this arm is called as titillator next to the titillator is a shorter and broader arm in ending in a black hammer like head called pseudo penis so this is the pseudo penis another arm like structure which is hammer like and it is called as pseudo penis close to the pseudo penis are three small soft lobes close to the pseudo penis are three like three soft lobes 1 2 and 3 and um, is called as hook and is called as aspartate lobe the duct of the phallic gland transverse the left phylomere between the aspartate lobe and pseudo penis so this is all about the uh, left and right phylomeres or gonapophyses now the third one is ventral phylomere it is a very simple in structure and lies partly below the right phylomere lies partly below the left phylomere it has a large brown plate and bears the male gonopore uh, and bears the male gonopore so this is all about the external genital organs or gonapophyses which are present on the last abdominal segment of male uh, cockroach which helps in copulation and those organs are uh, gonapophyses called as gonapophyses or phylomeres and they are of three types left phylomere right phylomere and ventral phylomere so friends uh, short notes is also asked over, um, in the exam for four marks here so you have to give this for this complete diagram and explain the three parts of phylomeres here so it is of four marks and the next one is so this is all about the male reproductive system of cockroach i think i am very sim uh, in uh, very simple form i have explained you the complete structure of male reproductive system you go through the lecture uh, repeat it for one or two times and again if you have any difficulty please ask me please tell me so that we can discuss over it and complete the topic here so friends now we stop we stop here and <clears throat>